and put us both together, all the things with us together. together. And then, I love it. Bam. It's beautiful. It's just, it works. <laughs> okay. Just kind of looked at it and said, Stephen, how amazing would that be if you and I, part of our honeymoon, we get to go on a yoga retreat? And he was like, heck yeah. So we just decided to do that. So we get to support a friend, a small business, go to Belgium. That wow. less of the hot, the hot bam for now. More hey. starting light, go dark if they do. Yep. Oh, the rat tail. Do I need it? Yeah. A rat tail. There's a rat tail and a rat's nest. Don't you burn me? Or I don't know if I can do that. And 
This is exactly what it feels like When I can't go to sleep Unless you're lying next to me It feels like we're falling for the first time This is Steven's last shot of Cafe Rica while he's single here. That's it. So the wedding party, we're going to have a nice big toast for Steven. Okay. Ooh. Got a pocket square. Look how nice and weird. Oh, yeah. This is much better than that, right? All right, great. Thank you, Steven. Good boy. I, ta I taught you well. <laughs> To the second Oh, shit, we gotta get it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 I can't believe he's, today's his day. So this is his last toast to singlehood. Best of luck and happiness to you, son. Cheers. 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 Feels like we're falling for the first time. First time. I don't think it's too short. No, it's not too short. No? That's pretty bad. I don't, I don't think a full windsor is good with these little collars. I think they have to be good. Mine's a big collar, so a full windsor looks good. A little collar. Let's see. It is a little short, actually. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, pull the bottom, and then I have my tie. Pull the bottom. I wanted you to stay, cause it's hard to run away. So don't stop now. I'm falling for you, I can't lie. I wanted you to stay, cause it's hard to run away. Yeah, it's hard to run away. Heart to heart. <laughs> when I can't go to sleep unless you lie next to me. It feels like we're falling for the first time. It feels like we're falling for the first time.
mic isn't working. The mic isn't working. be seated everybody wow what a treat we're gathered here today to witness the legal marriage of Stephen and Anna and uh, I say legal because these two have really been spiritually married for a long long time 
My name is Dave David, uh, and as Stephen's dad, Dominic's oldest friend, uh, by years, no, not by age. Uh, I've actually known Stephen his entire life, uh, even before he was born. I knew his father for almost 20 years, so I've kind of been with Stephen the whole way. I've watched him grow hair, I've watched him lose hair, <laughs> and see him through a lot of challenges and triumphs. I've also seen past girlfriends of his and witnessed the heartache. Uh, what I haven't seen, though, ever was uh, Stephen truly being Stephen um, until I met, until he met Anna Banana. I always call her Anna Banana. <laughs> uh, it was very apparent to everybody who knew them and to knew to know who knew everybody in the family that Anna and Stephen really meant to be together as partners. I mean, since the day we, they met. Um, so, like I said, I've known Stephen even when he was. Uh, Inside Lois, enjoying womb temp enjoying womb temperature, <laughs> and uh, actually, uh, I remember him through everything, being in the Macy's Day Parade when uh, uh, his his school was uh, presented there, and so I got to see him walk and play his, the instruments down. That was very very special. But actually, before that, I remember, <laughs> I remember seeing Steve. Well, actually, I remember when. Uh, he was being breastfed at a, uh, <laughs> at a uh, event up in Vermont. He was a year and a half, and Lois was just talking to another woman breastfeeding her kid and holding him the whole time. So I remember Stephen as an infant. Uh, and then, uh, of course, I remember one time seeing him. Uh, he was I mean, maybe two years old, and, and he was watching a video. I remember VHSs, and, and uh, he was sitting there watching the VHS, and I guess Peter Pan was on, and he goes to Dominic goes, Daddy, I'm scared of Peter Pan. And you know, your heart was breaking for him. And Dominic in this, you know, way says, Well, you scared of Peter Pan? Hey, did you guys, did you guys finish feeding the fish? You know, all in the same <laughs> breath. So, um, and the interesting reason I tell that story about the Peter Pan is because uh, when I mentioned that story to Anna, ironically, that's Aunt, that was Anna's favorite movie as a child. So, so now we can say that Stephen found his Wendy. And Anna found her Pam. <laughs> so they had something in common long before they ever knew each other. Um, now I'm going to do a reading from, um, from Ecclesiastics, uh, chapter 4, verse 9. Ecclesiastics was written by uh, King Solomon, son of David. And the quote that we're going to read is, Two are better than one, because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. That's from the New International Version. And that's very important. And the meaning of that is having somebody to lean on through good and bad times is an absolutely sacred gift. And I think we've all experienced that, but especially with Stephen and Anna. These two, Stephen and Anna, um, have embodied the partnership in, in so many ways, uh, more ways than one. Um, they're always there for each other when needed. Even when not needed, they're always there for each other. So today's ceremony is about, you said, the legal bindings of these two and to share in this joyous occasion, not a solemn occasion, it's a joyous occasion. That's where they always like everything to be. Uh, and to enjoy this and share it with their loved ones, with their family, with their friends, and really all their loved ones. And Steve and Anna also wanted to pay homage to those who were no longer physically with us. Um, their grandparents, both of their grandparents. Um, their pictures are here, right here, as a reminder uh, that they're always watching uh, over you and all of us, and especially both of you guys, and helping to be your guides. And whether they show up as frogs for Anna or, or uh, I don't know, blue jays for Stephen, they're always, they're always with us. Now, to help to bring these two people together, um, they would like to perform a unity ceremony. Uh, we'll start with the cleansing of the spirits and the adornings of the unity garlands, and then the couple will drink from the same cup, which as we know is very symbolic. The cleansings of the spirits will be done with lavender, which stands for luck, and it also stands for devotion. And the gifts of the garland represent the love and respect that they have for each other, which we know is very, very t intense. 
the cup which is filled with kombucha <laughs> is to re <laughs> expect anything else uh, is to represent the shared bond and commitment to the unity of marriage. over the marriage of Stephen and Anna. Bring them peace and everlasting joy for all the days to come. May their bond be strong enough to withhold all storms, especially with them living in Florida. <laughs> May their home be filled with laughter, strength, fun, and family. And above all else, May they never forget the promises that they have made today to keep their marriage vows. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. And now, it is time for the couple to exchange the vows they've written for each other, which means we need the rings. <laughs> I was wondering who those people were. I'm like, they must be part of the, the wedding. Yeah, yeah that's the point. <laughs> and, and it wouldn't be the Falcon's wedding without a Falcon. <laughs> hi, honey. It's like, hi, family. Hi, spirit. I was wondering, I'm like, they're, they're going they're something. They're so majestic. They're so beautiful. Oh. <laughs> Spreading your wings. Oh, oh. That's his okay. That's his yeah. You're gonna ask for your ring you're gonna ask for my mom. That's right. <laughs> okay, Stephen. <laughs> Who else but his mother giving him Thank the vows? <laughs> <laughs> Stephen, I will uh, have you read first. Uh, if you repeat after me. Oh wait, no, he's going to read his vows first, and then. Oh, he's going to read the vows first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
much here, Steven. Get the mic. Give the mic. All right. Whew. Dear Anna, my bruiser, you are the moon to my sun, mm -hmm. the yin to my yang, the mashugana to my stanad, <laughs> the Boston to my New York, hey. the Jasmine to my Aladdin. Your family has shown me unwavering grace and acceptance. I feel really lucky you were raised by and we are both close to them. And you make me excited again to watch Disney movies. You bring out the little boy in me when you make me when you make fart sounds on my belly. <laughs> and I know and I know it's weird, but we both somehow enjoy it. <laughs> That's what matters. I promise to be a good man, oil man and funny man that you believe I am. Singing karaoke with you is a dream come true. Like when my brother-in-law Johnny and Nikki sang about Jack and Diane, quote, sucking on a chili dog outside the taste of free hairs. <laughs> we laughed our keisters off amongst many other songs. Or when your sister-in-law, my sister Jackie, accidentally had an energy drink and we sang till 2 a.m. You were belting right there with her, completely sober to boot. It's one of the things that I love about you, your ability to have so much natural lust for life. You know how to get shit done and also party without the side effects of substances. And I'm grateful, very grateful for your attitude that keeps me in line. I promise to trust God, you and myself when making important decisions, whether it be business or relationships or anything else in life. I promise to trust, hold on. I promise to trust myself and continue to have faith, even in the smallest things like not assuming or taking things personally. I promise to hold you when you're overwhelmed and sing with you whenever you want and wherever, especially musicals like My Fair Lady or Annie Get Your Gun. <laughs> More importantly, I promise to dance with you even when I'm not in the mood or feeling confident like, I'm, like a pro like you. I promise to take care of him, you, when, <laughs> when you can't take care of yourself and be wise enough to ask you for the difference. I promise to keep receiving professional massages and not ask you for as many, but practice giving more to you and help support you in your relief and reduce suffering. You are the organic almond butter to my non-GMO jelly. <laughs> I, I promise. <laughs> I promise to always treat you like my girlfriend and have date nights every week religiously. Okay? Okay. I promise, I promise to praise you for your wins no matter how small. Mm -hmm. I promise not to be perfect, but to do my very best. I promise to become the resilient woodpecker slash falcon I was born to be and foster warmth, creativity, persistence, and healing. I promise to be your husband and passionately live in commitment to you for as long as God will allow us, hopefully another 71 years. 71. I promise to be vulnerable, truthful, and necessary, but practice speaking gently. I promise to always stay humble and kind, and I'm not talking Tim McGraw. I promise to be grateful over hateful. I promise to keep growing our business, dreams, and family together. We can do this by communicating clearly, listening actively, whatever the weather. I love you and I promise to nest with you, no matter the rest. Hmm. I give you the mic? No. Not yet. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. Right. That's it. Oh. And I love you. Yeah, I love you too. Yeah. You put this there. And then you want to say, I need, I need my wing. <laughs> okay, and then that means I need my vows. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Bello. I'm not talking the baby wipe. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here with you in this moment. We're doing it. Together, we're creating our own Disney world. I've known that you'd be my Disney prince from the moment you got out of the car that day at the Dolly parking lot. It was one of those moments where the world just got really slow. And you stepped out of the car and you offered me a hug. And on the release of the hug, I looked up at you and I just found myself beaming. 
and you looked at me with such a genuine interest that I felt like I was the only person on this planet. And in that moment, I really wanted to kiss you. But I wasn't going to, because I was going to be a good girl. <laughs> and I was going to wait. <laughs> but I wanted to. Anyway, <laughs> so that was the first sign that I knew that I was in trouble. Because I was going to fall for you, and I did. And now we're here, and we're getting married. And, you know, each time <laughs> that I look at you in the eyes, and then you're like, what? And I just say, I'm just looking at you. <laughs> it's because I'm, I'm looking at you the way that I saw you on that first day, and the way that you looked at me, and you just made me feel very whole and complete and safe, and I felt like myself, and I felt like, you know, I could just be 100% Anna. And I hadn't felt like that in a really, really, really long time. And you've been 100% behind me of just letting me be myself and and me being able to enjoy all of you and all yourself and your wackadoodleness and my wackadoodleness and together we're a bunch of wackadoodles. <laughs> anyway, okay, where was I? So back to our first date. So on our first date, I seriously remember like every single moment of it. Like it's a movie like that I'm watching over and over again. And I'm just so happy that I get to have that moment in my heart with you every time I look at you. And, and I feel just very complete. And, you know, I like your hands, so we should keep holding them together. And I, I like your hair, so you don't need to ask me every, ask me every single day. And I like your lips, so we should kiss a lot. And I like your arms, so I need to be in them all the time. Deal. Deal. So through our time together, I have learned that our love radiates the most when we each as individuals are the most fulfilled and found with joy and peace. Hmm. So I vow to take care of myself emotionally and physically and mentally so that I can be there fully for you mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And also I vow to listen to you when you also need some care and assist when I can. And together I see a life of playfulness and growth and joy. And I'm ecstatic to be your wife. <laughs> and your continued partner in life. Not talking the cereal or the board game. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, you did not talk in two. That's I did. amazing. <laughs> Could that have been any more beautiful and sincere? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, Stephen, you ready? Ready. Okay. If you could repeat after me. After me. <laughs> Hi, Stephen. Hi, Stephen. Take you, Anna. Take you, Anna. To be my partner in life. To be my partner in life. I vow to love you. I vow to love you. Honor you. Honor you. And cherish you. And cherish you. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. And beyond. And beyond. <laughs> you want to put the ring on her finger? <laughs> All right. Thank you. Semi official so far. <laughs> Okay. Okay, Anna, do you want to repeat after me? I will. Okay, I was okay. hoping you'd say it. <laughs> Hi, Anna. Hi, Anna. Take you, Stephen. Take you, Stephen. To be my partner in life. To be my partner in life. I vow to love you. I vow to love you. Honor you. Honor you. And cherish you. And cherish you. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. And, and beyond. beyond. <laughs> <laughs> you may put the ring on Stephen's finger. Wow, looks good. Yes. <laughs> Perfect fit. Perfect enough. And now, you're man and wife. You're so man and wife. <laughs> and, and now it's time to kiss the bride. It is my 
my deep pleasure and on. honor to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Falconetti, the new Mr. and Mrs. Falconetti.
Well, we'd like to invite back to the dance floor, right? And we'll share our sex dance with his mother. If we can, let's give them a round of applause as they make their way to the dance floor. Yeah. Trust in me when I'm 
This includes lots of help from friends and vendors that I personally have worked with for years, as anyone here knows. <sighs> Out of breath. Okay. Most people here know I'm also a wedding coordinator. So, whew. Um, for example, Stormy and Jose are wonderful photographers today. I've worked for, with them for like six years. James and DJ also worked for like five or six years. Um, amazing. Ellie used to be one of our salsa instructors. So, phenomenal. 13, more amazing. Behind um, our serving staff, we have Sana, who is doing a great job um, from Twisted Indian. Hope you all enjoyed the Twisted Indian. One of our favorite restaurants. I went to an entrepreneurial academy with Sana recently. Amazing graduates. Um, we have, who else? Bartenders. Bartenders, thank you. Bartenders. We got Ricky. Ricky, I just met you, but you know what, Ricky? You're doing a great job. Um, yeah, Ricky. And, what? Oh, yes, I know, I know. I'm, I'm getting there. Um, Emily, I'm coming back to you. I'm skipping for a second. Also, on serving staff, we have Kylie, who's doing an amazing job, and Mary. I love them both, and they have volunteered their time today to help out. So they're in the kitchen right now, but if you have a giant round of applause for the event, please. Um, Dawn, who I work with at Epic Events, my booth, Dawn is over there with her husband. Okay. All right, Michael, Sam, Dawn, again. Amazing, thank you. She helped all this decor together. Um, I do not want to forget anyone. Am I forgetting anyone before I go back? Well, yes, I know. We'll go to family and parents. And then, of course, all of our friends and family. Thank you, Bridal Party, for coming up with us. Love you all. Um, and parents, also, thank you as well. So thank you to parents. If I missed anyone on that side, we're there. But one other person, I said I'm circling back to Emily, who's behind the bar. Emily there, who is one of my co-workers at one of my multiple jobs, USFCR. Anyway, um, it is also her birthday today, so she has decided Ese guayo, la partigiano, 
tu mi devi seppellir e seppellire la sui montagna o oh, bella ciao bella ciao bella ciao 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 seppellire la sui montagna sotto l'ombra di un bel fiore
for him. Each other. That's what it's all about. So simple. 